God wants to know we're going to be faithful. God wants to know we're going to trust him. But there are so many of these stories we read in the Bible, and there are so many of these stories that we live in our own lives, where the problem is we see God's deeds, but we don't understand God's ways. And we're like Israel, we forget. We forget. You know, when you hear me re- repeat things God's done in our past, you know, I used to do a lot more than I do now. And I would tell stories. I'd say, you know, back when God died and this happened, and then blah, blah, and this happened, and then blah, blah, and this happened, and blah, blah, and this happened, and blah, blah, and this happened. And then I would tell the story, and I'd get us up to where we are today, and say, look at all the things God's done back here, and here's where we are today, and whatever God's got tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. That's how the story kind of, you know, goes. Why would I do that? It's the same way that God does in the Bible. It's that what God is going to do in our future is directly related to what God has already done in our past. That, that what God has done in our past is the, what builds the faith and the understanding of who God is. And so, like, for instance, if we were going, it's us, and we're walking, and we've seen God to get us out of slavery, right? And now we're back up to the Red Sea. And you say to me, oh, my gosh, why did God bring us out of the desert to die? I would say to you, do you not remember what God just did? God did this and God did this and I'd probably go back to the burning bush. Dude, I was running away. I was out hiding in the desert, okay? And there was this bush on fire, which I thought was really weird. So I went over there and that bush, it started talking to me. And I would say, then I did this and then this happened and then this happened and then I said to Pharaoh and then he did that and then this happened and blah, blah, blah. And now we got to here. You think God's not going to provide for us? We get through the Red Sea thing. I would try not to, but I might go, told you so. Anyway, we get through the Red Sea thing. And then we, we don't have enough food to eat. I'd probably go way back. Well, now, remember when this happened? And then when this happened, remember the whole, I told you about the thing about the, the burning bush, right? That was weird, but I told you about that. And then all these things happened. And we got to the Red Sea. And then we thought this, and, and you thought that. And we said this, and God did this, and this is what happened. And then now we're over here, and you're worried about food? God provide. What Moses was positioning himself to do in Exodus chapter 33, verse 13, was not to see the deeds, but to understand the way. 